Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time to find out exactly where the Jersey Devils alliances lie, as it is now time for the Wicked One to do battle with the tortured soul, one half of the WAW Team Champions, Mr. Psycho. Here comes Jacqueline Frost leading the way. And we've got all three members of the Kindred coming out to the ring here tonight. The WAW Team Champions, along with Jacqueline Frost. Christian Sane has no business being out here. For this contest, Jacqueline Frost does have a manager's license, along with being a wrestler, so she can come out to the ring with either member of the Kindred. It's all licensed. But why Christian Sane is out here is beyond me. It'll be interesting to see where the Jersey Devils alliances are. Are they with the Kindred or are they with Asylum? Let's find out. Suspicions have been proven true. The Jersey Devil has aligned himself with the Kindred. I can't believe he'd do this to Rocco just two weeks before Legacy. Ah, uh, here he comes, all decked out in white. Looks fitting to be with the Kindred. Uh, mocking the Grave Digger pose just like the other members of the Kindred do. I can't believe this. The Jersey Devil has joined the Kindred here this week on Aftermath. What does that do to the team title match at Legacy? The Jersey Devil has joined the Kindred, which would mean he's a registered member of that team, not Asylum. So what happens to Rocco's shot at Legacy? I cannot believe this. Jersey Devil's shaking hands with his new fellow Kindred members, shaking hands with Jacqueline Frost, Christian Sane, and Mr. Psycho. Wait a second, complete shot on Mr. Psycho! The Jersey Devil pulled a ruse on the Kindred, and he's now being attacked for his his ruse by Christian Sane and Jacqueline Frost. I can't believe it. And here comes Kevin Chaos, Katie Doobie. They're coming out to the ring, and they are clearing house, taking away Christian Sane and Jacqueline Frost. Oh, down goes Christian Sane. These two fighting all over the place. Kevin Chaos and Christian Sane set the new battle later on here tonight. And of course, Jacqueline Frost and Katie Doobie hate each other's guts. 
Oh, Mr. Psycho and the Jersey Devil training fist. The Jersey Devil firmly with asylum. After the last few weeks of questionable acts from the Jersey Devil, he made his alliances known here, and he is fully with asylum. And in two weeks, it will still be a three-team elimination match. After a few moments of questionability there, it will be the Kindred Asylum and Total Chaos. Jersey Devil, oh, sent down to the floor. Back body drop by Mr. Psycho. Sends the Jersey Devil out and to the floor. Psycho comes charging, tries for a baseball slide. He gets caught. Jersey Devil, oh, into the brick wall. Sends Mr. Psycho. And he goes down. Jersey Devil now has Mr. Psycho. What's this? Oh, what a slingshot there. Flipped Mr. Psycho inside out, landing him right on the floor. And we got another complete shot on the floor. Wicked One rolls into the ring and breaks the count on Mr. Psycho. And he's got his stop sign. The trusty stop sign there. Someone's getting stopped. The Jersey Devil, he's got the stop sign. Here he goes, he's going for it. Wicked flip, oh my God! And bounce right off the skull of Mr. Psycho. I cannot believe it. Oh my God! I hope that cut your face. That stop sign just bounced right off the face of Mr. Psycho. This could be all. We got to cover. Oh, and Mr. Psycho somehow gets a shoulder up off of that stop sign, bouncing off of his face. Chopped by the wicked one, the Jersey Devil, sending Mr. Psycho back into the corner. Hammering away at Mr. Psycho in the corner. Close fist right into the side of the head. Mr. Psycho dropping his hands. Oh, we got a hurricane run. I thought Mr. Psycho was going to plan some sort of counter, but not to be. He gets kicked in the spine. Oh, and again. Jersey Devil kick in the spine. There we got a front neck snap, and we got a reverse neck snap. Jersey Devil now waiting for Mr. Psycho to get back up to his feet. He's got something in mind. Here he goes. Bouncing off the ropes. Mr. Psycho catches him. Jersey Devil flips over and takes Mr. Psycho down into a pinning combination. We got a cover, and we only get two. Jersey Devil now. What can we see here on the corner? Could it be a corner? A diamond dust, excuse me. No, it's not. Mr. Psycho takes him out. Mr. Psycho has the Jersey Devil. Oh, throws him back up onto the turnbuckle. Punches him right in the face twice. Now up on the turnbuckle. What are we going to see here? Psycho gets shoved off. Psycho goes after him again and gets shoved back once more. Once again, up on the top. Could it be a super play? No way. Jersey Devil hammering away now at Mr. Psycho. What are we going to see here? Sunset flip bomb, but Mr. Psycho hangs on. Hanging on for dear life, and he gets a hurricane rana. Jersey Devil lands right on his head. This could be all, and we only get a two count there. Both men suffering serious head trauma throughout the duration of this contest. First, Mr. Psycho had a stop sign bounce off his head, and then the Jersey Devil landing on his head on that Hurricane Rana from Mr. Psycho. Hip toss over. Mr. Psycho hangs on into an arm ringer, kicks the Jersey Devil. Could it be the mass hysteria? He's got him up for it. No. Jersey Devil has Psycho hooked. Psycho takes the Jersey Devil over. Jersey Devil takes the legs out. Could it be the Devil up? No, the Jersey Devil gets shoved backwards into the far corner. Mr. Psycho charges and he gets a boot right to the face. Jersey Devil now coming out for the New Testament. Gets shoved off. Mr. Psycho trying there. Nothing happening. Jersey Devil tries for a clothesline. He gets snapmared over after Mr. Psycho ducks it. And now, Mr. Psycho crossing the arms, looking to put him away, choking out the Jersey Devil with his own arms. And the Jersey Devil reverses himself out. Mr. 
Mr. Psycho sweeps the legs of the Jersey Devil. We got a cover attempt. And the Jersey Devil's shoulder comes up. Another cover. And another shoulder up. Mr. Psycho gets pushed up by the Jersey Devil and his feet. Jersey Devil, oh, with an arm ringer of his own. What a reversal there by the Wicked One. Jersey Devil heading up to the top row. What are we going to see here? Wicked One balancing across the top row. What are we going to see here? Oh, slammed out by Mr. Psycho. Psycho goes for the cover. We got a count, two, and the Jersey Devil lifts that shoulder up in the nick of time. Jersey never says die. Mr. Psycho has the Jersey Devil up. Looks like he's trying for mass hysteria. And he gets it. Mass hysteria. This has got to do it. We got to cover one. Two and oh, the Jersey Devil lifts his shoulder up at the very, very last second after a mass hysteria from Mr. Psycho. And Mr. Psycho says, Oh, you want to play that way? What are we going to see here? Throw the Jersey Devil out to the floor into no man's land. Mr. Psycho falling out, he's on the apron. What's he calling for here? 450 splash, nobody home. Jersey Devil moves out of the way, and Mr. Psycho crashes down face first off of that 450 degree splash. Jersey Devil, Jersey Devil. Mr. Psycho holding his ribs and his face after landing on the floor, hey, missing that corner. Oh, the Jersey Devil gets hit with that trash can. Excuse me, stop, stop. I don't know what the hell I was thinking of a trash can for. Mr. Psycho breaking the count on the floor and now taking the Jersey Devil. It looks like he might be a little lacerated. Yeah, the Jersey Devil has been cut open a little bit. He's got a small laceration on the top of his forehead. Mr. Psycho taking his knuckles and just punching him right into that open wound. Now the Jersey Devil sent into the ring after he's been cut open by Mr. Psycho. Now starting to lose a little bit of blood. Psycho going for the cover. We got a count and we don't get three as the Jersey Devil lifts the shoulder up once again. Mr. Psycho taking the elbow pads off and throwing them away. What are we going to see here? Springs off the top rope. Frog splash into an elbow. We got a cover and we got two as the Jersey Devil once again avoids defeat at the hands of Mr. Psycho. Mr. Psycho now taking that stop sign into the ring. If he uses that in front of the referee, he's going to get himself disqualified. Picking up the Jersey Devil who's near lifeless. Bringing him over towards that stop sign. Could it be a mass hysteria onto the side? Yes, it is. Mass hysteria onto the stop sign. We're going to count to. Wait a second. The Jersey Devil's arm was lifted by Mr. Psycho. Jersey Devil clearly down and out for the count. And Mr. Psycho putting him on top of his own stop sign. And he has got him in that cross clutch. The blood flowing out of that laceration from the Jersey Devil. Come on, looks like he may have lost consciousness here. Referee checking on the devil, and he is called for the bell. The wicked one has passed out from that cross clutch from Mr. Psycho. Mr. Psycho picking up the victory here tonight over the Jersey Devil. Mr. Psycho risking disqualification there and a reversal of the decision as he wouldn't let go of that cross clutch soon enough. Mr. Psycho says now asylum's blood 
has been stuck. Fuck you! I pray to God he doesn't have hep C. Fuck you, fat ass! <laughs> uh, WAW's most vulgar mouth walks away. The judge would have arrived in a bit of his own blood after a defeat here this week from Mr. Psycho. Referee checking on the Jersey Devil, who still remains pretty much lifeless. Wait a second, here comes Rocco. Rocco's going to be very pleased that his partner showed his true alliances and went with Asylum. Rocco here to help up his tag team partner. These two men will be teaming up together to try and regain their WAW Team Championship at Legacy. They, the Jersey Devil get attacked and board of the ring, and Asylum did get their shot. Asylum gets their shot along with Total Chaos at the Kindred, coming up in Legacy in just two weeks. The action will continue, coming up next, here on Aftermath. Don't go anywhere.